if you can imagine a, a classroom being delivered to your front doorstep and saying, here's your opportunity to learn. That's exactly what we're giving. The tools that people need to learn. It's the backbone of the school. I have seen a lot of outdoor classrooms being a, a, a space under a tree. And even that's a great opportunity for, for anybody that has the drive to learn. But to put desks, to have chalkboards and pencils and, and everything that you would need physically to learn just gives the students that next leg up. The concept of it was really very simple. When we visited the communities, they would often bring us to their primary schools and ask us for anything that we could provide. So we quietly, over the last three or four years, provided some school desk and, and some help to test to see if we could really be of some service in this way. And we soon realized the answer was yes. So we began to organize ourselves to provide the classrooms, the school library, the cafeteria, computer lab. Blackboards, whiteboards, chalk, pens, paper, learning materials, desks that are made here. We actually have a wonderful group of people here who build custom desks for this program. The craftsmanship is, is incredible and they assemble the desks in country. We conservatively estimate that two students will sit at each desk and every time we have a visitor from the field come in and look at these desks, they kind of laugh and they say, we'll have between four and eight students sitting at, at each of those desks. We can fit seating for up to 76 students all on one pallet. When you prepare a project that gets packed into a, a large seat container, being able to fit that much seating on just one pallet really lets us send a, an enormous amount of material to that community. We do complex suites. It's a term that we just really came to grips with this past year. We do complex projects. They're sophisticated and they're difficult to do. Given that we do surgical rooms and intensive care rooms, why wouldn't we do complex vocational suites? Training for how to build a home, training on how to repair a car or an engine, training on how to do hospitality work so that you can have a job in a hotel, training on how to do nursing, training on how to do medical assistance. And we realize those suites are not as complicated as an operating room suite. And now we have a list of eight to 10 vocational suites that we can provide training to those students in the major disciplines that are needed in their community. So they can find work or do work in their community. Carpentry, electrical, masonry, and plumbing. And we can collect those into a discipline so that students from that school can go out and actually start building three, four, five room homes in their community. How can we impact on their community? Not sometime in the future, not somewhere else in the future that they need to move to, but somewhere where they can do it right from home. That's remarkable.